I had five shows last night. I have three tonight. Oh my God! And uh, are you from New York? New Orleans, born and raised. So, so you moved out here then? Oh yeah, I moved out here. I did count for eight months. I was like, this is it. I finally found what I want to do. I don't care how hard it is. I'm gonna make it work, and that was it. Right. So that's the hustle. Moved to New York uh, with 800 bucks in my pocket. I got mugged three times in a year. My landlord died of AIDS, and the first day I was here, I had a pigeon in my apartment. I worked in this building as a janitor for two years. Not a lot of fun. You smell like garbage and donkey cum. You sniffed me? Yeah, I did. How about you sniff this? Whew. Yeah. That's her. See you later, Janet. Douchebag. We believe that guy? Yeah. Ah, boy. Can't believe you fucked him. Does anyone else sometimes feel like they're getting paid just to be sad? I quit the day job in uh, 2011. Best day of my life. I was a janitor. Really? Yeah, mop floors from 9 to 5, and I would do open mics at night and shows yeah. at night. And eventually, you know, after a while, I just saved up a ton of money. I was super poor. I saved everything I had. Got a TV spot on Comedy Central. Quit the job the next day. I got quite a, a route scheduled for tonight. Uh, yeah, not in New York that much. So when I'm here, I really cherish the time. I'm only here on like. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You leave Thursday to do weekends on the road. Going to Philly this weekend, then Montreal. It's gonna be a good year. Yeah. yeah women always say, oh, did these jeans make you bad? These jeans I've never heard a woman say, is this conversation even relevant at any year at all? Are you tuning it out? I don't blame you. All right, here we go. Of course, that joke wouldn't hit. Uh, we're doing on time there. Ooh, Jesus, 17 minutes. Felt like an hour and a half. Yeah. I'm gonna follow that. Oh man, you gonna follow? You can do it. No, you no. can do it. I can't Everybody do it. Everybody got a title. Hey, hey. <laughs> sir, you look like you keep a box cutter on you, so don't hurt me. All right. Uh, appreciate the boo. All right. Keep you up back to scare the pigeons away. All right. Um, just telling jokes. Take it easy. Please. I'm dying up here. Oh, I'm giving it up, sister. Don't you worry. You ever date thin white men? Yes. Oh, really? I saw you, I saw you look at my crotch for a second. Just to make sure. You know, she made you a manlier guy, right? Oh, you like the money? All right. I have, I have no money and a small penis, so uh, we would not get along. I could probably go down on you. I know you guys don't like doing that. That's what I hear, right? You guys like that. You like it? All right. I'm not talking about guys. Take it easy. All right. Uh, it's sad that like comics are like drug addicts where you need those extremes just to feel good. You know, like you need that 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 hit, you need that fix. I mean, I buy a new iPad or I get I get a BJ um, uh, after a show, like that's all fun and games, but it, it's not enough. You need that that rush, that 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 crowd, you need everything. How sad is that that it, to be happy I need all all those factors have to happen at a comedy club. An audience has to show up, somebody has to own a comedy club, somebody has to buy a microphone, buy a light, somebody has to allow you to perform there, and you have to do well. All those things have to go on just for us to be happy. And if we get heckled, it's all ruined. We're selfish, terrible, uh, misunderstood people. Well, we're gonna go beat up a bunch of cops. You should come. But do you know the feeling of taking a cop's gun and turning it on him? It's a great feeling. How do you feel about the Jews? Which, what's that mean? What does that word mean? Well, th that's what this protest is about, right? <laughs> all right, well, what do, you, uh, what do you look for in a man? Really? Is that what's going on? I have a boyfriend. Do you? I'm, I'm protesting against that. <laughs> Welcome back to the New Day Cleveland. It is time for a little bit of a laugh. And it is time for a little bit of a laugh. So welcome here into the, into the studio. It's good to have you hey, here. Hey, good to be here. It's, uh, it's a pleasure. I'm a little hungover, a little gay, but uh, just glad to be here with you, sister. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I'm very happy to be here with you, too. I'm hiding my erection, I, I, but uh, I've been farting it up in the green room. And, uh, is that a guy thing? Maybe. Because I feel like I you would hear a guy. No woman would ever say something like that. 
No, no, you guys are more of a, maybe a quee thing. Oh my gosh, but, okay. Uh, well, is, that, is that clean? T t no, well, we're 10 term. AM TV. I mean, you know, you live you live in New York City now, but you're from New Orleans. Yeah, wow, well, well done. You read and my grinder bio. I, I was looking you up, yes. Yeah. And I, but I. Hey, that's why I'm a comedian, because uh, I got to get love somewhere. <laughs> Oops, sorry, is that a me too? <laughs> All right. I can handle it. I can handle it. So, but for you, being, I mean, you're young. So Black. getting into this business Black and don't crack. getting into this business and um, <laughs> I'm 35, 35, not that young, <laughs> but uh, you know, not on the Viagra yet. Or am I? Who knows? Comedians, we're our own breed. We're a weird group. You know, we're like, uh, we're weird. We're inappropriate. We're awkward. And we're offensive. Like we have comics, really have no nerve endings when it comes to swastikas, abortions, AIDS, and uh, the STDs talk. But uh, I only hang out with comics, really, which is probably unhealthy. But uh, that's the only people I feel like I can relate to and get along with. That's why comedy's great. It's it's like you're saying, hey, I've got these fun ideas. I think you'll enjoy it, but don't interrupt me and don't ask anything of me. I'll, this is what I can give you. Comics, we're terrible socially, usually. Not good with around other people, but we still have something to say. We still have some talent to give, so we need to just let us give it out. You watch, and then we'll leave. We can't interact. Interacting, I'm not good at, but I still have something to offer verbally. I think a day job for a comedian is much harder because we're wired differently. So it's more, it takes more mental energy to be normal, like you mortals, you know? It's tough, not you, but Everybody eating at this restaurant. If I had a, a meaningful conversation with them, I think a lot of them would walk away just like, that guy's fucking wacky. That guy's got some issues. He's a little dark. Maybe I am dark. Right. And don't worry, I'm not cheating here. These are just swastikas I've drawn. There you go. All right. Where do we begin? I mean, we got to address uh, the elephant in the anal, Corona. It's a, it's a bitch. We all, we're all sick of it. That's why we're here, you know? Corona's been so long. It feels like the check engine light. You know, at first you're scared of it, then after a while you're like, fuck it, I gotta go to work. Any Jews here? <laughs> there you go. Mm. Either there are no Jews here, or Jews are like, oh, I'm not falling for that one again. Anyone getting a hand job at the moment in the car? Oh, that guy, all right. Well done, sir. I didn't know the hand job was still around. Comedy. I like the cars, and you can't tell who hates me. Ah, shit, that car backed out. That's hurtful. If you really care about it and are passionate and go for it and want it, I think you'll get there. So you're saying that work, like work is enough. How much luck is involved in this profession? Do you think luck has an important part to it? Sure, do? luck does, but you can't control that and you can't worry about it. You just got to focus on you writing and working and busting your ass, I think. Yeah. So you got to make your own luck in a way. Hustling, man. Just going to work every day. Uh, you know, beat tired. I was fucking, eyes were red. I'd go to bed at like, 4 or 5 a.m. I'd wake up at 8, go to work, and then go do shows, write new material, get that clean five minutes. Boom, audition here, bing, bang, bing, TV spot. I got, I just put a special out. So all my material's gone. It'd be one thing if I could come back on stage and just jump into my old act, but I just put out an act. I put it out on YouTube, it's all out there. So now I got no material and no skills. Well, uh, hopefully there's a crowd tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll yuck it up and probably offend somebody, but. It's sold out. Is it? What? Sold out, I didn't know that. Oh my God. So that was fun, I got a lot of work done, tried some new jokes. Boy, it was great. Uh, just a tough time. New special came out, and I'm rusty, and I'm doing new material, so I'm, I'm all over the road, but uh, that was great. The crowds were great. I love Texas, and now I gotta fly back to New York, so I'm gonna hit the bar and drink with the staff and the local comics.